All right, welcome back, everybody, to the Sunday Skirmish. We've got game number four coming up very soon between these two players. Let's take a little look at Disrespect. We haven't looked at his uh, his bio just yet. So Disrespect was a former content creator for Polygon Gaming. That is what you're watching right now. His teammates complain about his extremely loud keyboard. Ooh, I know some people like that. The click, click, click. Often favors aggressive openers, but recently switched to a more macro-oriented style. So really focusing on his macro play, which is oh so important in StarCraft. I personally am a micro player myself, which gets me killed a lot. Obsessed with Maru as well is disrespect. So that's a little bit about both these players. Let's go ahead and take it back. Shaft is here with me. Ready. Mm -hmm. Nope, I need to accept. There we are. So you want to know something fun and lovely? Yes. Disrespect once described himself as a Maru file. As a Maru file? Like a mm -hmm. lover of Maru? Yes, a lover of Maru. He says he is Maru sexual. Maru sexual? Wow, that's I didn't know that was that. Looks so, I thought there was you know, only a handful of identities. They just keep growing every day. <laughs> hey Andy, what? Let's jump into the game, man. Because remember oh, how uh, oh. the, the player, remember how the player on the bottom right said the player on the uh, top left. Let's start with the player on the top left. Player on the top left in the green, Zerg Trunks, plays for Cystorm Gaming. He is a manager for them, and according to his opponent, he has really weak Overlord placements some of the time, and some in fact. In fact, if you actually throw it on Penguin's Overlord positioning, he has completely missed it. But he is Psystorm Gaming's Penguin! Woo! And with half his base in the bottom right-hand corner and half of it right in the middle of the map, he's the player in the pink trunks. Why don't you introduce him? Disrespect. Yeah, I give you a little sneak peek of that proxy for Rax now. Finishing mm -hmm. up before we went and introduced Penguin. So here comes the hurt. The boy's even getting pulled. This is an all-in. Eight SCVs going to be joining this attack. This is going to be some early micro shenanigans. There's some micro game, actually, where you have to hold as a uh, Zerg drone line. You can make a few Zerglings. You have to hold SCVs and Marines. This is exactly yeah, that right now. Oh, so Marauder King in oh. chat. Marauder King in chat cheering Terran. along our Terran. <laughs> He's going to need your support, man. Why don't we all just grant our energy to the spirit bomb that is disrespect? Killing off an overlord, supply blocks his opponent. This is the type of vanish he needs going into this attack. We see a little bit of a cancellation there. And SCVs have been pulled. Oh, the Penguin's SCVs. Gonna... Yeah, I think Penguin's going to be the one who needs some support here. Because this is going <laughs> to be brutal. The drones all getting pulled. That is a nice, sizable force of Zerglings actually getting a really good surround on all of this. The Marines are yes. doing their best to kite. SCVs are fighting drones. Queens are killing everything. Oh my good lord, I think he's going to be able to hold it, but he's going to incur heavy losses doing so. Yeah, he has taken a lot of damage, but here's the effect is down to four SCVs. Yeah, this so no matter is how many all, all in. So, what happened with that attack? Disrespect was out in the open field. He was on creep rather than backed up into a corner. What? And he ran into the main <laughs> instead of trying to target down that natural. That, that literally, literally worked, worked every time in practice. GG <laughs> <laughs> oh. gets called the drones a little bit too much to fight. Wow, that was an action packed game. <laughs> that was definitely action packed, man. But major issue right there was simply just fighting out on the open map on Chris. He should have been back into a corner. Just think about it. Lings, drones, all of that surface area. Every, like, the, the damage output is related directly to the amount of surface back. So Jeez. back into a corner, you're better off. So yeah, Catalyst going to Penguin, taking it now three to one. Disrespect is in a little bit of trouble. Only one more game and he's gonna be out of it. Almost taken it. I thought he might have had it there with that Marine push. Wow. Yeah, it was powerful, man. But honestly, Zerg Zerg is really good at defending stuff like that these days. Yeah. Um, Legacy of the Void gave us a lot of tools. Like even if we don't see it coming, uh -huh. um, we've got more drones there, like at home. So we're producing. Like, think about it this way: if you start off with six workers, um, you're getting income at a certain rate. So you're replenishing your drones at a certain rate. When you start off with 12 and that same timing attack comes, but you started off with more workers, you'll have more workers by the time he's pulled the boys and gotten to your base. So when it's worker on worker battles like that, I really like the way Legacy of Void works. Yeah, for sure. 
All right, so oh. yeah, we'll have game number five coming your way pretty quickly. Anything else you want to say real fast? Nah, man, we're going to be hopping in. We're right. going to be hopping into Odyssey, so if the uh, right. chat wants to let us know what they think of Zerg vs. Terran on Odyssey, let us yeah, know in the good. chat room. What are, what are your, what was your, you had hashtag Dirty Zerg, hashtag Poor Terran, or hashtag Broken Toss. Yeah, Broken Dirty that Toss. toss one right now. <laughs> yeah. But no, we will be going to a quick commercial break. Thanks so much, everybody, for hanging out. We've got a few more games hopefully coming your way. But stay tuned. We're going to be right back. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.